Welcome to the Funk MMA Strength and Conditioning Podcast, hosted by Funk Roberts, former professional athlete, certified MMA conditioning coach, and master of metabolic training. Funk is one of the leading conditioning coaches in the martial arts industry today and has a following of over 500,000 combat athletes around the world. His workouts and training principles have been used by many professional fighters, including fighters in the UFC, Bellator, and 1FC, as well as World Muay Thai champions, Roy Kickboxers, and ADCC BJJ champions. Join me in welcoming your host, Funk Roberts. We are live, we are live, we are live, people, and welcome to the Funk MMA Strength and Conditioning Podcast, episode number 14. I am your host, Funk Roberts, and today I'm joined by the co-host with the most host, Andy T's in the house. What's up, Andy? How's it going? Whoa. Whoa what's going on, man? <laughs> that was raspy there. Sorry. What's, what's going on? It is er, what's early-ish. It's 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. How you doing, buddy? Good. I had a little sinus thing going on here, I think, like my eyes. I don't yeah. know if you noticed this morning. Yeah, yeah, I do. You look a little... What's going on? I don't know. My, my eye and my sinus. Nothing. Yeah. Maybe a day rest and I'll be good. Yeah, day rest today. But today is not the day to rest because we got a lot going on, man. Right not today. Holy shoot, man! This has been. Uh, it's good to get back on the on the podcast. We've got a live stream right now. We're kind of doing a little test. We're uh, live streaming on Facebook Live, the Funk MMA Strength and Conditioning um, page, and we thought that this would be kind of cool to just, you know, we're not we're not answering questions or anything. We're just. You know, you guys get to see behind the scenes, kind of like the first evolution of putting this on video. <laughs> right. 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 And today we're going to talk about strength training for fighters. I think, um, you know, I think it's a really important um, aspect of training to actually train strength and how to implement that into your training. And I thought I'd have, you know, well, Andy's the co-host, but I thought Andy's story is good because you are strength training. Um, we're not going to get into it right now because there's a couple of items, housekeeping items that we need to address and just sort of like give you guys an update on what's going on in, in our lives. Because um, first, this podcast is always, always, always brought to you by FunkMMA.com. Download your six free programs. Go to FunkMMA.com right now while you're listening to this podcast. Go on your phone or wherever the hell you're listening to this podcast. Or even after, go to FunkMMA.com, download our six free programs. We've got six free programs. We've got a 5x5 five five, uh, workout. Um, it's literally an instructional video workout. We've got uh, sprint training because, as you guys know, I love sprint training. We have, um, we have uh, abs and core. We've got, like, um, just a, an ebook overtraining overtraining guide so like just they're all free so just download it and, and it just starts your process in uh, learning a lot about strength and conditioning and then also go to and while you're starting that process you can also go to nutrition number four fighters dot com and get your nutrition process on the way or on start get it going yeah, yeah get it going at the same time so you can go to nutrition the number four fighters.com just put your email in there we'll send you three free uh resources directly to your email uh so you got funks 30 power foods that's right baby. so any 30 foods that you should always have in your fridge pantry freezer um also a one day meal plan made by myself. So how to get away with seven meals and with fifteen dollars under fifteen under bucks. fifteen budget bucks. baby on a budget. Fighters are always on a budget, right? Yep. Fighters all you don't have money all the time, and uh, you know you got your training, you got whatever else you got to pay for. So being able to learn how to eat on a budget, huge. So yeah. Andy put that together. Uh, you literally could eat for a day under fifteen bucks. Oh yeah, for sure, and like solid solid and yeah. you use that for one of your like that's kind of yeah, like that's like, what you like for it one of your started fight camps. from like the the evolution was like being just being broken and then trying to train and yeah. having to eat well so you know with all that in mind it's just kind of what turned out and then uh also we have a 10 free uh, sorry 10 cheat clean cheat recipe ebook yeah. that I also put together. So 10 of my favorite recipes that I, I like to use for when I have that c craving, but I don't, I can't cheat on my diet. Yeah. So, so they're, they're healthy cheat meals. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. That's really so good. one more time, nutrition, the number four fighters.com. You can head over there and uh, get that for free. Yeah. So, um, one of the things I wanted to talk about before we start 
getting into strength training is that like you know we've got a lot going on there's two couple things we've got a lot going on in our lives right now um in the funk hq but you know um, some of the things that are happening just for you guys to know it's august the 10th it's august the 11th right now um 2017 and uh if you guys don't know already um andy and i are are pursuing um not pursuing we've started a supplement company we started a revamp nutrition labs um we've partnered with another lab and um we're bringing to you guys grade a supplements um incredible supplements man and the first supplement that we're, we're going to be rolling out in late september is our protein supplement we're not going to go too, too much into detail i don't we don't want to to, uh, expose our um, secret ingredients, <laughs> but this is going to be an incredible supplement. Um, you know, 100% natural. Um, you're not going to get any of the like bloating and gas and like mm -hmm. just shit. And we've put so one thing in there that's going to ensure that not only are you not going to have all of those uh, side effects, but you're going to be able to utilize the protein much quicker, right? It's really weird how things come full circle because I sp like. Not that long ago, I was working in supplements right. uh, and, you know, selling supplements. And it's it's funny how this opportunity came up and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do this. Like parlay right into uh, a, a supplement company to like, I just went from selling supplements and then like, you know, using everything on the market and trying everything out yeah. and, and, and taking the time and learning everything and leaving that and then into supplements yeah, again yeah and it's huge that's why you know your, your knowledge in the supplement world is massive and um that's what brings i think that's you know what and i've used supplements forever but i think that's what really makes this synergy really good because um you know a lot about supplements uh, you know we, we're learning a lot about supplements we've researched and fucking researched and researched and we want to bring you guys like the best supplements the supplements that we want to use that we're going to use that we're like, okay, we're using these because right now I don't have a protein supplement I'm using because I hate every single protein supplement on the market right now. So I'm not even using protein, a protein supplement. Usually like I'm trying to get as much protein as I can through my food, mm -hmm. but I know that I need to add a protein supplement, like protein powder, because I know that, you know, I'm missing my protein shakes after training <laughs> or, you know, I'm missing that like one more boost, boost of protein that I need in my nutrition. Um, and uh you know my wife too so like we have protein powders i'm looking at one right now and it's just been sitting there because it sucks it's sh it's got too much sugar in it it's, it's shit it, it's horrible like i'm not and every protein out there is as like there's only a few that are are good but they're really hard to come by so it's like if you know what we're just gonna make that's the first thing we're gonna come out the blocks with like mm -hmm. a serious clean protein powder yeah you know? another it like not only hard to come by but if you're just like a regular person that doesn't know too much about supplements it's it's so easy to get tricked and it's so oh, totally. easy to not be able to tell what a good product is and yeah. what a good product isn't if you don't know how to read a label you and you don't know like the ingredients that use as fillers you're throwing your money away yeah you're throwing your money yeah, away. that's exactly what you're just throwing your money away and, and because you know if if everyone was using amazing protein because protein Look, you're going to get people like, oh, you don't need protein. Oh, I get enough protein. Yeah. Do you really get enough protein? You probably don't get enough protein. Um, you know, there's all these different like eat once a day fucking <laughs> diet plans and all this other bullshit diet plan. But, you know, as a fighter, you need to ensure that you're getting enough protein. And, you know, this isn't a supplement uh, podcast, so I don't want to get too, too right. deep into it. But just I'm just telling you right now that as a fighter or as an athlete, you need more protein than the regular Joe mm -hmm. Schmo going to the gym or the regular person not doing it. like you need more because of the intensity of your training and how much um, you know and how much you're training every day all the time what you're doing to your body how fast you need to recover you can't you can't mess around with your nutrition yeah if you know your body as well you know the difference from when you you're supplementing and you're not or even just diet if you're eating enough protein or you're not yeah because there's been times where I've messed up and like got having gotten to my protein quick enough or my meal quick enough and then i feel it the next day yeah totally that's the key eh? timing um so we're we're after this podcast we're actually going to our partner our other lab which is a partner of ours and we are um we're going to be uh meeting with them so we're just kind of like we're 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 in the last like 
I don't know, eight weeks away from the launch, oh. and it's just kind of like things are happening quickly, Crazy. and it's very, it's 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 very exciting. So guys, be excited. So that's one thing that's happening. And then you know the the Funk Roberts. Um, if you guys are listening to this right now, no matter where you're listening to it, make sure that you go to the Apple Store and download the Funk MMA podcast. Um, just go go Funk MMA podcast at the store and download it, so at least you have it on your phone. But also, I have my Funk Roberts Fitness app. Download that on iPhone on the Apple Store, but also Android now. It's I think. As of today, it's on Android, but if it, either today or tomorrow will be on Android, so download that, but you'll probably get um, information on that. So just, there's a whole bunch of things, but the, the, what I wanted to, to bring up is adversity, because right now, you know, last week at this time, you were, you had a lot of adversity going on. Oh. You had fucking a car, you had just, you know, some, some a project that you were needed to, to attend to, um, regular work regular work talk about like you know how that was feel how you were feeling last oh, week man. last week i felt so shitty yeah. I, felt, I think what what like uh most of it stemmed from like having to teach a lot of classes at the gym and then not really having the freedom of saying no like i i i gotta do a bunch of work today so i'm just gonna train later today or later tonight or the morning session and take the night off no i had to be there morning and night so it kind of put a lot of things on the back burner just because i'm all, i always have like three four things going on at once all the time so it's hard to micromanage but last week was bad you know my car broke down yep. um like you said all that shit and i just have to deal with it very yep. slowly like step by step and it's and it slowly gets like less shitty you know it's yeah. like a breakup slowly gets less shitty yeah uh but yeah just working through it so yeah i mean you know listen a lot of people say you know things happen and bad things happen in or good things happen but bad things happen in in people say in threes but i don't believe it just when bad things happen it seems like sometimes it can happen threes fours fives it all depends on what's going on in your life but usually it piles on like you know one thing one thing kind of bad was happening it's like okay fuck you know and then all of a sudden something else happens and something else happens and i just want to commend you because uh instead of like cower cowering you actually faced it because what i my philosophy on anything because bad things happen to me all the time when you run a business and you have all kinds of different tentacles in the business there's always something going wrong like always so the the for me my number one thing is in order to to get over those things you have to okay when bad things are happening you can't cower away you have to actually hit them straight on and you have to like mitigate how long those bad things happen mm -hmm. so for instance like you know car car breaks down okay now you can't even drive the car well most people some people will just say oh fuck man i don't have the money or whatever but or you go okay i've got to make sure that i attack this how do i get this you know and, and address it mm -hmm. and figure out how you're going to deal with the car oh something else happens over here oh fuck okay well okay now i gotta attack that address it so you start addressing everything and put a plan in place on how you're going to attack everything and then you just attack it and try to mitigate the length of time that it's going to be bad mm -hmm. Right, because it's gonna be bad. You just yep. have to instead of like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Oh, I'm just gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna leave that for now. You gotta go. All right, here it is. Because what happens is you grow as a person. Like you learn how to um, how to fight through things. You learn how to deal with things. You learn something about whatever it is. Every time something bad happens, it's like an opportunity for you to learn and grow. Yeah, it's funny because uh, it started. You know where it started. <laughs> you know where it started. <laughs> where? Well, it started with with a couple things. So the first thing was, you know, getting an email saying, hey, where's this project you're supposed to finish? Yeah. And then as soon as I got that, I disconnected from the world. Just yeah. shut off my phone, threw it across the room, uh, went to, I think it was Starbucks or Second Cup. One of the, I went to a coffee shop yeah. and then just did as much work on that project that, was, that I could, sent it off. Yeah big sigh of relief okay. and then i was running up <laughs> i was running up a hill and my shoe ripped oh yeah that's right the, the shoe. The, yeah the yeah. half the sh my shoe ripped off my foot because i the heel yeah the like heel the bottom part uh no the front part oh the front part oh the yeah yeah the, yeah, the yeah, flat yeah. to the yeah. flat. so my shoe ripped off and then <laughs> <laughs> i know i was like okay well fuck 
went straight to the <laughs> store and bought a new pair of shoes. Long overdue. Yeah. Anyways, it's just kind of small things. Right? Yeah, so no, no. They keep going. Keep so going. So shoe rip. Yeah. So then I went and bought new shoes. I feel great about my new shoes. Yeah. And nice. then on the way driving over, I think it was over here or to the gym. Yeah. I just hear my car going. <laughs> 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 so then I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So I needed to change my brakes. So I took my car to my the mechanic. Yeah. Turns out it's like $1,000 worth of damages. Yeah. Like, brutal. Realizing that I got to scrap this car and figure out a solution. So then, you know, reaching out to um, a good friend and start getting the process rolling on getting a new car. And then uh, the supplements thing, and then just grinding through a, a week of supplement work. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's been, it's been yeah. But you know, rough. you got you got a smile on your face. But how do you? F- you probably feel great. I, I could feel better. Yeah, That's of course. Thing. I Listen, could feel we better. could all feel better. But yeah. it, but you could also feel like you could also be cowering in a room, turning off all the lights in a corner, going, "My what life sucks. My yeah, life sucks. My right. life sucks." But you don't talk mm-hmm. about how your life sucks. You just go, "Okay, my shoes fucking just ripped." Because because <laughs> I don't. I haven't heard you really talk about like just here. I'm pulling it out of you, but like. You know, you, there's people that you'll meet and they're just like always complaining about fucking all. Oh, and then last week my car broke down while I was driving here and my shoe ripped and this and that. And it's just like they're not talking about, oh, but I got new shoes. Oh, right. I'm getting a new car. Right. Oh, I got my project done. Right. Like that's the shit that you got to talk about. Not continuing going on that all path. the shit that happened and mm-hmm. like, you know, telling everybody who will listen because that's what happens. People will tell like. 50 people now 50 people know your story about your shoe you'll you'll put it on fucking facebook (laughs) and like no 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 after you get the new shoe then you can put it on facebook and say hey last week was a shitty week i had this happen this happened this happened but here are the solutions right right don't just come with fucking your problems have solutions or like have the remedy or have things that you're working on or ask for help yeah i think uh after this weekend i'm gonna feel great I'm yeah. going to disconnect one more time this oh, yeah? weekend. Yeah. Oh, and, shit. And okay. then uh, next week, full board, resume, have my life back again. Yeah. I feel like I didn't have my life for two or three months yeah. where, you know, coach was gone, so I had to do that. And yeah. then, like, you know, everything's piling up. Yeah. And now I feel like I'm starting to get my rhythm back, rhythm my life back. back. So Get the rhythm, the rhythm of the rhyme. All right, so good segue because one of the things that you didn't disconnect from this week was your strength training. And, um, you know, I'm really uh, excited that you took on this new venture. Um, you know, the, I always think that strength is your, your foundation. Strength is, is the, the, you know, it's like a pool. You know, it's like a pool. You got to fill up that pool with water. That's, that's the strength because the stronger you are, less injuries you get, you know, the more powerful you are, the uh, stronger your core is, uh, the faster and ca- better, more cardio, better cardio you're going to have better endurance you're going to have just all that all that equates to to more strength and a lot of fighters you know they they disconnect from that it's usually bodybuilding style workout which is not strength that's size that's totally different size and strength are totally different most most people like you know they'll go to the gym or they'll do bicep curls and tricep kickbacks and all that shit and think okay i'm getting stronger and or i hear like oh yeah funk you know i want to get stronger so i'm doing like hypertrophy training or whatever it's like no no that's not strength training you want to get stronger more powerful you want pound for pound strength you want to be able to get stronger while staying relatively in the same frame because as a fighter um or anyone like anyone in general you don't want to get big and huge you don't want to be a power lifter you want to get strong but you want to stay lean and ripped and strong you know what i mean yeah unless you want to be a power lifter uh, yeah, yeah or unless you want to be a bodybuilder like i'm right. not saying if you don't want to be a bodybuilder then but uh, this is a strength and conditioning podcast right, right. for fighters and athletes so this is you know your goal is to be strong like super fucking strong so you can bully people around uh so you don't get injured and then um stay stay relatively the same size yes yeah, strength training was something i always neglect not neglected I just, I feel like strength training is something, and you could probably talk a bit more about this, but something that you should be consistent with outside of fight camps and, you know, lifting once, twice a week, like good lifts. Um, It's something I just never did outside of fight camp. It it just wasn't something that I would continuously built on. It, It wasn't. I look at it like a skill now. Yeah. Like uh, I don't just look at it as like, oh, I'm gonna go do heavy squats and stuff. Like 
I think that it, it's one of those things, especially what I'm doing now, which yeah. is like, you know, a bit more technical uh, lifts. I feel like it's a skill and it's something I treat it like martial arts, yeah. you know, uh, being very hard on yourself. And um, yeah, it's 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 been pretty it's not night and day yet because I'm still new to it. Yeah. But I do notice the difference. Um, oddly enough, aesthetically, for some reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just something I never incorporated out of camp, out of fight camp. So what what does it entail? So what are you doing? How many days a week? So how you you're what one forty? What do you fight at? One thirty five. You fight at one thirty five. How tall are you? Like five five eleven. Five eleven. One thirty five. Yeah. And you are very skinny. For, uh, you're yes. very tall, long, and skinny. Yeah. Uh, slim. I don't yeah. want to say skinny. You're you are muscular, but just like you're long, tall, and slim, right? Yeah, that's just the build. That's just, just the build. Long yeah. limbs and yeah. you know, there's a there's a short, stocky guy. I'd be like the tall. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I always this is always funny. I always say uh, if I had a generic nickname, it would be fucking the spider. <laughs> 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 but yeah, actually, I was I'm considering moving up now that I'm lifting more weights yeah. because like 130. I feel so brittle at 135 sometimes. Yeah. But well, maybe because maybe if you're as you're lifting, you're gonna feel stronger, right? Because you're yeah. saying brittle because you're cutting, still cutting to get to 135. Yeah. But maybe with this strength, um, and you know how to cut, like you're 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 very scientist, you know, you, scientific. Thank, oh, thank you, Albert Chang. The, yeah, like you you know you don't just c- cut water. You know how to cut. You you know the, the cutting starts a long time before, so mm-hmm. you're not your energy is not too too broken when you're fighting. But you may want to still consider staying at 135. Yeah. but you're gonna be stronger. I yeah. mean, you are stronger right now, like you, you know. Yeah, so you know, I'm I'm doing strength training twice a week now. Yeah. So Monday and Thursday. Yeah. And uh, it it it's tough because the way it's split up, I'm sore all week. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no day I'm not sore. Yeah. Or like, there's no day that I'm completely fresh. Yeah. So right now, I'm just trying to push through everything and make sure my diet's on point. Yeah. Make sure I'm recovering right. But yeah, it's been really challenging. I'm doing a lot of movements that I haven't done. Like what? Previously, like yeah. um, like, what, what are like the uh, uh, some of the lifts would be like a snatch, but you hold the weight overhead and then go into a squat. Right. Um, clean to a front squat. Barbells. Yeah, barbells. Yeah. Clean to a front squat. You know, regular front squats, back squats, uh, weighted chin ups. You doing deadlifts uh, yet? No, I'm not doing no. deadlifts yet. Just, I'm just doing power. A lot of power stuff. But yeah, power stuff. Um, so I'm building up right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been. It's it's really challenging, yeah. and I think it's very necessary for fighters. It's something that I kind of denied for a little bit. Like everybody would tell me, the guys at the gym, like, "Man, you got to get stronger." Like, yeah, you know, they make that. yeah, they make fun of me a little bit. Yeah, Al- Albert used to do it all the time. Albert yeah. Chang is the king of fucking. He used to say, "Funk, get this guy on a strength program." Yeah, he's he's a he's a he's the king roaster. <laughs> um, but Albert Chang roast, but he, he was right. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, starting that. And I'm, you know, I committed to uh, three months, and before That's we leave right. to Thailand is when I'm stopping. That's like October, right? Yeah, October. for the time being, because yeah, yeah. obviously I'll be away. That's and a good. That's a three months is freaking beautiful. Yeah, it's a good amount of time to get the base strength, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so it was who who told you about like who told so explain to us who are listening what what a typical like you're you're not doing this on your own. No, you're right. Uh, yeah, so right. You know, it's something I wouldn't be comfortable doing alone. No. The, some of the lifts that I'm doing now, just because they're a bit more technical. Yeah. Um, but I have a coach at uh, Charles at f- uh, Executive Athlete Training. Oh, cool. You, you're uh, throwing plugs, man. These yep. people have to pay for the plugs, okay? <laughs> front Stop ins- throwing plugs. Front in Spadina in Toronto. God damn it. Uh, Charles, if you're listening to this, we want some love. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I started there because Albert, one of the guys that you know, kind of brought Albert Chang, UFC yeah, Albert fighter. Chang, uh, road FC now, but FC, right. he's in China now, but, uh, yeah, I started, I, he got another training partner, Alex into it. And then Alex got me into it. So, you know, just going down the ladder yeah. right now. So yeah, it, it's, uh, makes a difference. It's weird because I still don't feel as strong as those fucking construction guys at the gym. <laughs> Dude, the construction guys, that's a whole difference. That's yeah. a, that's real man strength. Man. Yeah. That's a whole weird. different. You can't, you can't, th- that kind of strength, you can't go to the gym and get. Yeah. That no. strength, you got to get out on the, con- in right over there where they're building that built my, the, the condo there. Yeah. 
that's the only way you're gonna get that that shirt. must be like time under tension of just holding <laughs> steel <laughs> yeah, bars and yeah. holding them yeah, up and yeah. like i don't know it's, grip it's strength really, yeah loop, everything like uh like if you think about it like a uh, a lot of the the stuff like I'm watching them all, all the time because right now just outside of my house right now they're building a whole condo thing so like right there I, I see them they got cranes over my over my uh, patio all the time <laughs> so <laughs> guys, sketchy. guys want me to like there's this big there's this big massive crane like a uh, I don't know like a uh, oh the thing in James Bond where he runs across the yes thing. Yeah. yeah so it's r- <laughs> and it moves it moves around and so one day I was barbecuing and all I hear is <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck? And then I look up and it's the guy like, he's like, I don't know, 100 feet. How low, How far is that in the air? Like oh, 100 man. feet in the air? Yeah, that has to yeah. be some. So he's like 100 yeah. feet in the air. And, and and my condo, I'm on the on the balcony. So I'm at the very top, right? So my I have a patio at the top. And he's got the crane here. And then he's like, and he's looking at me because I was barbecuing. And he's like, hey, hey, put, you know, like this. And he's going like, put some of the, put a plate on the barbecue i'm gonna pull the crane over and then and then put like a put the food on the crane and he's gonna pull the crane over i'm like i'm not gonna do that but that's awesome that's hilarious that's absolutely awesome but no i watch those guys walk around and just like the way they're, they're carrying all the stuff and you know farmers walk carries yeah that's and exactly like the way they're is. snatching stuff up uh-huh. you know the way they're pulling stuff over like the digging like uh, the the grip work like that's different strength man construction yeah. workers have like strength that no no other person does and man. you especially feel it like uh there's a couple construction guys at the gym like uh ariel yeah you get into a body lock with him and for some reason he's like he's the same weight as you but he's fucking two times stronger <laughs> yeah. for no fucking for from construction well, yeah 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 man that's so. that's if you want to get strong uh that's your next either program. Either, <laughs> either grab a coach and do uh, some of this these lifting here or, or get stronger so or go to construction. So uh, I just want to backtrack to Alex because you've seen Alex's um, progression using this strength training and then him, you know, with his fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's... Uh, and he used to get injured a lot too, right? Before he Well, he had his, one injury. Oh, oh it was that, one injury. That took him out for a little while. But he... Uh, so I knew him pre-lifting and post-lifting. Okay. And he was always good. And yeah. he was always strong for some reason. And he was always, he was always a good fighter. And then when he started strength training, I slowly noticed it come up because I see him every day, right? Slowly, 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 slowly. To this point, now he's like so much faster. He's so much more explosive. Yeah. Like um, it, it's helped his grappling, but it's also helped his striking. Like he he closes distance a lot faster now. Right. So it's a lot trickier. Yeah. And like he can just. What about his grappling and stuff? Yeah, his grapp Like uh, when he gets you down and he's on top of you, it's, it's like a, it's so hard to get up. Right. And he's my size. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, he probably walks around a couple of pounds heavier, but we fight at the same in the same weight so, category. So I was like, okay, well, I need this. Yeah, totally. So he was like, okay, come, and then so I did. And so, so you're doing, so you're doing these some of these lifts. So take us through like the first couple times that you went there. Yeah. So like you know, f- it's weird because if I was anywhere else, I probably wouldn't. Like there's a lot of shitty coaches is what I'm trying to say. Yes, and just say and it. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's it's not very safe. And in this invi- I was, I've always been hesitant to to uh, do this kind of stuff because I don't know how safe it is. Right. right? I just didn't want to. I didn't trust my. I don't trust myself. Yeah. So showing up and and getting a coach, um, and having somebody watch over you and tell you how much weight to put on, where to start, what to do. Um, definitely helps a lot and so the first couple times with just evaluation i think that if you start with the trainer they should always evaluate where you are yeah so we did you know balance test and you know uh, he put me through a series of testing i I, to be honest i don't know what what came about but you know the testing is not for you the testing is for him for him yes exactly so So you just go you just do so i just went through the testing and then we started and uh you know it's the uh, it's almost the same uh, template yeah. that we go through. Yeah. Uh, That's th- oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So Thursday's a bit oh, strong, harder. Yeah. Monday's a bit lighter just because yeah. it's the start of the week. But yeah, I mean, so first couple times. Template? So what's the template? We just go in, do the warm ups. I don't want to give away all of this. No, secrets, but I mean, but you I'll can just tell. give like the. Yeah. It's good to the eat. base. So like, yeah. 
Uh, we s- we do. Those aren't really secrets, but yeah. I'll get you. It, you know what? I could say his whole template, and and people still can't would, do it. Still can't do no, it no, no. without him there, yeah, type of thing, yeah. right? But um, but so you do warm ups. You do like activation. Yeah, so stuff. we do activation stuff, warm up, band stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of like lift style warm ups. Right. You know, like uh, what do you call that one where you step your foot? Oh, the the. Uh, scor- not Scorpio. Uh, it's like a lunge, but yeah, you, but the you put but the lunge, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, band activation stuff, and then we get into the warm ups for the lifts. Yeah. So we go. Uh, I should know what that's called. Sorry. <laughs> we warm up. We do our warm up sets for the snatches. Then right. we do our working sets for the snatches. We right. do our warm up sets for the cleans. Then we do our working sets for the cleans. Right. We do our warm up sets for the squats. Then we do our working sets for the squats. If and that's then, what you're working on that day. Yeah, and then uh, we go through a little circuit. So for exercise, kind of like a, well, metabolic, a metabolic, circuit. yeah, metabolic circuit, pretty much, and um, yeah, just a lot of uh, I don't want to say accessory work, but yeah, like like core stuff too. Yeah, like balance stuff and like yeah, uh, that's accessory stuff. Yeah, sure. like like um, shoulder health stuff. So we yeah. do like a little four exercise. That's at circuit. the end, or or during the midway. Metabolic oh, midway. So yeah, this is yeah. thing, and then. Uh, if it's Thursday, we'll go out and do strongman stuff. Nice. So, nice. like, you know, farmer's walk yeah, and yeah. sleds and things like that. And then uh, he might throw a little pitchfork in there and make us do, like, a core finisher. Beautiful. And, and then, for sure, 20-minute stretch minimum. Yeah. And, yeah, that's a session. That's awesome. So it's about an hour and a half? Yeah, hour and, hour, and a half, two hour hours. Hour and a half, two hours, big session. Twice a week. Twice a week. Yeah. You're paying, you're paying big buck, bleh, bucks for it, eh? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know what? I don't mind paying big bucks no, because of course not. the thing with a couple of things, you get what you, you pay for. And also, if you're not paying big bucks, you might not take it seriously. Like, I think that when you put big money down, you're really held responsible and accountable for 100%. the training. Yeah. And I feel like if I wasn't. You always need accountability in, in everything you do if you want to do it successfully. So I think uh, paying the big bucks is good, even at a discounted rate. Good training is expensive. 100%. 100%. Just like good food is expensive. Totally, totally. Mm-hmm. I think, um, yeah, that's key. I love I love how, like, this is, again, how old, how old are you? You're 22. 23. 23. So, like, you knew that you wanted to do the strength training. You knew that it cost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So what would you do? You got a job. <laughs> You went out and got a job got to a pay weekend. for the freaking. Yeah, that's a, that's that's what it's all about, man. You you do what you have to do to get what you want. Yeah, it was literally like uh, all the all the decisions and everything was like a total of two days. Two days. Like at, like from the time I was like, okay, I'm gonna come. When's the next session? Thursday. Okay, it's a Tuesday. Okay, Thursday. Okay, I'll be there Thursday. Show up. Watch a session on Thursday. Right. Okay, we're gonna start training Monday. Got a weekend job. Started right away. Started right away. Yep. That was it. You just made that decision, and it's the best, amazing decision. Obviously, yep. you're, you're feeling you're getting stronger now in your lifts. What's how's your technique? Your technique's getting better. Uh, for lifting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Every week, I feel like, I mean, my last session was a fucking stinker, but yeah, you'll, you'll always get that. There's sessions that you'll always be, be shit. Plus, you had a lot of things probably going on. Yeah, I think, and you know what, the coach, coach, he's he's a very good strength coach in the sense that like he's very. Uh. Like, the culture that he's built in that place is, like, when you walk in, it's just about work. Right. Like we're not, yeah. I'm not going to a fucking gym, and we're not talking about this and talking about that. It's like, okay, go in, warm-ups, okay, let's go. Go, 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 do all your lifts, okay, keep, keep it going, keep going. You're not doing this right, you're not doing this right. Like, uh, kind of, like, tough love approach. Yeah. But very friendly afterwards. Yeah. But when before, is all business, all work. Totally. And I think that if uh, you're serious about training and you have a trainer... It, for me, that's the best, uh, the best environment. Oh, for sure. Where it's like when you walk in, you're not quite comfortable. Yeah. And like I feel like a student again. Yeah. And it was just another thing about doing this was like having another place to test myself and like have something new, something refreshing, something hard to do, something I don't know how to do, and then just kind of learning something new. Totally. You know, that's that's the thing. Like, not all of us have, not everyone has access to. Uh, a coach that they can find you know you 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 stun- kind of stumbled not stumbled on it but you know you you were uh lucky enough to have um uh someone who who's gone through you know that same coach and has gone through it and and that's amazing but you know like 
that's why one of the things that we did last year with Coach D is, is do the pound for pound strength program because, um, like I said, I've always known that strength is extremely important for fighters, but not everyone has the ability to go and, and do the power stuff and the strength. And I mean, Andy's talking about a lot about a lot of snatches and power, but that's also part of the strength training. You've got to, tr- you know, train, um, you know, uh, uh, you got to, you got to, you do have to do some of the big lifts, but there's also a lot of technique and and you know there are some lifts that you need to do but we created a pound for pound strength program that's not as technical as that but will still give you like incredible strength super strength um and keep you lean and in the same body so it's like pound for pound you're not getting bigger you're getting stronger you're getting more explosive you're getting leaner um and you know we we broke up this program so that uh, you know it's easy to follow it's uh, progressive progress progressive so you start off like basic you know the first phase is all about the foundation of strength the first phase you know we use a triphasic method so the first phase is all about strength you know slow um uh your tempo slow um you know you're using some basic lifts uh and then you know phase two you're moving more into like supersets a little bit faster more explosive and phase three is more explosive of course and um you know more reps but you, we progress you through videos and teaching of every single exercise every single workout so we kind of want to you know and it's a long program this is not like you're doing three months yeah right this is it's not like oh and and in two weeks, you're going to get stronger. No, no, no. You got to put work in and you got to put work in. It's got to be part of your training. It's got to be like when you go to the gym, instead of going to the gym and doing biceps and triceps, try to get bigger. Or it, instead of going to the gym and doing one of my metabolic circuits, if strength is something that you need, and I think every fighter needs strength, um, then you take 12 weeks and go, okay, these next 12 weeks, hmm. I'm focusing on strength. I'm still doing my technical work. I'm still rolling. I'm still doing Muay Thai. I'm still doing MMA. I'm still doing all of that stuff. But now my conditioning, I'm going to get from my technical work, like my skill, skill classes, but I'm going to go 12 weeks, sorry, yeah, 12 weeks and do strength and follow either our program or, fo- or go get a coach and follow that coach's program. Yeah, so it's funny because... Uh, and the link to that program is in the... <laughs> it's uh, uh, funkmma.com slash best strength program You'll so, put that so somewhere. yeah no so it's funk mma.com slash site slash best strength program that's the link once again funk mma.com slash site slash best strength program that's our our pound for pound strength program check it out guys like it's it's amazing sorry what were you saying yeah you know it's a it's funny because it's a barrier that i faced was not knowing what to do and not feeling comfortable uh doing it on your own doing it on my own and then at the same time not being able to afford a coach Mm. so like three three things that people usually run into so and with the pound for pound program there's i would feel very comfortable going in and, and doing that whole program because everything is is set up yeah nothing is like you don't really need a spotter no nothing is like dangerous there's no like there's no, it's not that there are no technical movements. It's that it's just uh, easy for somebody to do by themselves. Absolutely. Like you, you won't need somebody there yeah. uh, to do it. And then you just replace that, like you said, with your whatever yeah. fucking shit you're doing at the gym. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just get rid of the shit you're doing at the gym and, and out and just, just, just take 12 weeks and go, this is, okay, this next 12 weeks, this is what I'm focusing on and I'm going to get stronger. And then you're going to, honestly, 100%, you're going to see strength. In your performance, you're going to perform better because you're going to be more explosive. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be able to do things that you never were able to do before. When you start doing your endurance work, you're going to see that, oh, shit, because you have more strength, you have more endurance. You're going to be, your cardio is going to be better. Um, Your core is going to be stronger. We haven't even touched on your core. You said something about um, aesthetically you look different. Yeah. And that's probably based on your, a lot of on your core. Like, I mean, yeah, I can see in your muscles, but on your core I do feel sore like I did an ab workout when I do these workouts and there's nothing that's like. Ab related, like ab specific training. Yeah. But everything involves, all the lifts involve the core. Absolutely. That's, yeah. I always say, Mm -hmm. I always say that the core, which is from literally your, like your underarm, like your chest, the nipple of your chest all the way down to your pelvic floor back and front that's the your entire core region everything is based like i always say obviously strength is a pillars but everything is based on your core because y- your squat your deadlifts your 
anything basically that you do is based on the core strength. So if you're weak in the core, let's say you have massive legs, but you're fucking super weak in your core, your squat, you probably could be squatting maybe three or four plates. I'm just throwing that out there. But because, but because your core is so weak and you're putting that, that bar on your back, your, ba- your core and your, your body can't, um, can't support that because your just core is not strong enough. You just don't have a strong enough core. Your pelvic floor drops and you can't get as much weight as you could be if you, ha- you, know, um, if you had a stronger core. Same with your deadlift. A lot of people say it's grip, but it's also the core. When your core is not strong, you're not going to be able to deadlift as much. The stronger your core is, the more, the, the more you're going to be able to squat, the more you're going to be able to, to, to deadlift, the more you're going to um, punch harder, kick harder because you're not leaking any energy because that's what happens when you have a weak core. Energy leaks out. You're, the better your cardio, the better your running is. Like Everything is based on your core. The better your movement, the less back injuries, the less injuries you're going to get, the better performance you're going to be, the more things you're going to be able to do, the better your balance is. Like, everything is based on the strength of your core. And what you're doing with your strength training is always based on your core. You're doing overhead overhead barbell squats. Yeah, you got to core. That's stabilize all core. at the bottom because sometimes if uh, there's a couple of things. Like you got to keep your core tight. Everything has to be tight. And another thing I'm learning is your posture. Like, uh, yeah. On, on, I was just hunched down. <laughs> yeah, like on everything. Like um, like on uh, overhead snatch. Like, you're, like I'm not great at it, mind you. But like everything has to be tight. And your posture, big chest, and you gotta, you you just gotta have very solid posture, and it has to be something that you start off with at a perfect base, and then and then everything else is automatically tight as well. Core is tight, yeah. Yeah, so I'm learning a lot about posture and core, and, and then how that translates over to martial yeah. arts, Talk like to me you know, that, yeah. on the ground. For instance, I'll use Alex as an example, but like if he cross faces me on the ground from like side control and just fucking digs his 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 shoulder in and he can be so heavy and his posture is so good and it's hard to actually move him off of you like right. make a frame and move him off of you um and then you know you talked about his striking like how quick he's in and out he was he's always been a really good striker and he's right. always had like very dexterous legs and he could just kick you in the head from anywhere <laughs> yeah like but now he's actually probably one of the Besides Mauricio, like one of the best kickers that I know, really. And uh, but now it's even more so. Wow, that's amazing. That's, yeah, that's 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 incredible. I mean, I, uh, like I say, strength is is key. I mean, even I find like I'm running now, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm doing I'm running like four or five times a, di- a week. I'm doing a long run, a couple of short runs, and some sprints. But I haven't been doing leg work. Like I haven't been doing squats. I mean, I, I sorry, I shouldn't say that. I do do squats, but I don't do. I haven't been going and doing heavy squats. Like I haven't gone and done okay. Let me do a squat, like a heavy leg day. I'll do. I'll throw legs into my training, whether it's like Bulgarian split squats or or walking lunges or lunges or or um, uh, goblet squats. Like they're part of the workouts that we do. But I, it's been a while since I've gone and say, okay, today it's a leg day, which for me would be very simple. It would be squats and heavy squats, followed by Bulgarian, spl- uh, followed by lunges, um, th- different uh, variations of lunges, followed by a Bulgarian split squat as a like a lighter Bulgarian split squat, followed by some hamstring curls, uh, but but on the stability ball. That would be my four um, exercises pretty much when I go in and do a leg workout. And I, I, I know for a fact when my legs are stronger, my running is fucking way, way better. My, my endurance and running is better. My sprinting is much better. Like when I focus on that leg strength, like that's a leg strength day. You know, 100%. 100%. You know what I noticed mm. now that I'm thinking about it? That your legs are, I mean, you know this, but yeah. I'm just saying it because I'm discovering it now but yeah. like your legs are connected to your core like uh fuck what's that pelvic your pelvic what's that uh it's not is it a reverse hyper oh, no, oh back extension yeah, back like extension, a yes, back yes. extension yeah, yeah, hyper, yeah, but yeah it's like a core and yeah yeah hamstrings hamstring 100 fucking exercise yeah, and well, yeah. i'm just feeling that connection <laughs> yeah you're starting in the body where it's like whoa both things are firing at the same time right glutes spe- yep. spe- glutes specifically glutes are that's another um, you know, you probably do some glute activation stuff before you lift, right? Yeah, tons. Yeah, so like that's that's another key, like glute strength. Like you know, you see all these chicks um, on Instagram and Facebook doing glute shit, guys. But they're not—they're doing it for aesthetics. But 
we should actually be focusing a lot on glucose. That's where it's the biggest muscle in our body. It's where all of our power is generated. Like, you know, you're, you got guys with big, you know, I've got big glutes. I've got big legs. Mm -hmm. So I'm powerful. I'm a very powerful person. I can jump high. I can sprint fast. I'm, I can, I've got that power. And you can see the guys with the big glutes, like not big, just big, solid, muscular glutes. They're power, you know, like Woodley. You, can, you know, his glutes are fucking powerful, mm -hmm. right? Well, when you see like a strong legs or big ass or whatever yeah. you automatically assume like okay this guy this has guy, power oh yeah like that's a power but you can develop that power by mm -hmm. continuing to work on glute stuff doing like you know uh, uh what do you fuck my um doing lying bench hip thrusts you know what i mean like so mm -hmm. your your back's kind of on the bench your hands are out along the bench and then you put a bar uh right in your uh right in the uh, where your pel pelvis is and then you just thrust your hips up straight so it's like uh, like you're a tabletop and then you squeeze your glutes at the bottom. Those are like, those should be like always routine. in your a routine or you don't even need the, the bar. You can just, you, you can just do it on the ground. Like we do that for uh, the glute activation. activation Single yes. leg. Yes. Single leg. Yeah, that's a good one. Arms on the side yes. and then just uh, 10 to 12 reps. Yeah. And before you do anything like getting a resistance band, like when I say resistance band, I mean the full elastic resistance band, not the ones with the fucking handles on the, uh, <laughs> I'm talking resistance bands, put them between your, you know, uh, around your knees, around your ankles and start doing like side to side stuff um, uh, to activate like sidewalks, duck walks to activate the glutes before you even start your uh, MMA training, right? Like mm -hmm. you guys should be like warming up, activating your glutes because you're going to use that a lot. And you don't want that to not fire when you're going to need it. Yeah. Training, training. Two people that I saw, I see that do that. Like they have a, a routine, a, a really good routine. Cause sometimes, you know, a guy comes on the mat and just fucking looks right, looks left, looks up and then, you know, shakes his arms <laughs> yeah, and he's like, guys. all right, ready to go. <laughs> uh, but one guy that, okay, so the first guy I ever seen have like a solid routine was uh master and Duba. Francis, oh, yes, Francisco massive. Trinaldo. He would Trinaldo. always come with like UFC you know, fighter. a golf ball, put it on the ground, yes. roll his feet Activate out, his feet. Yep. yep, go on a foam roller, yep, do a bunch of like like a solid warm up stuff yep. Yep. before every practice. He had like a, a minimum, like this is baseline. Yeah, um, and then somebody who had an even more intense one was uh, Rafael Lovato Jr. Lovato Jr. Yep. He spent a good 15, 20 minutes doing that stuff before he even. Started stepped on the mic. I mean, yeah. Stepped on the mic. Stepped <laughs> on the mat. <laughs> just starts rapping. <laughs> Even before he starts rapping. Yep. Before he starts <laughs> rapping, he does some activation. All you rappers out there. All you rappers out there who want to be rappers. It's all about activation. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, before he gets on the mats. Or yeah. So, you know what? That's actually something I should do a bit yes. more. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, we all should do that. Um, we should all should. It doesn't have to be 15 minutes. It could be five minutes, but it can be a routine that you keep doing. You know, if it's, if it's depending on what sport you're doing. You activate whatever. If, depending on what's sore, you can do the foam roll. Don't you have to foam? You don't have to foam roll your entire body. Mm -hmm. Just foam roll. Oh shit, my hamstrings are a little bit sore. Let me just do a little foam rolling action. Let me do some glute activation before I get on. Let me, you know, rotate the hips and get the Mine's hips. Mine's all about up. hips. Yeah, opening up those hips. Uh, you know, some leg swings. Um, you know, let me do some uh, shoulder circles just just to get the blood flowing in the shoulders. Let me do some, you know, th the neck stuff for sure because you are cricking and cracking your neck yeah, during. I, I just do your. Like my that, baseline that is your seven yeah that's perfect it's all the joints the seven yeah joint joint warm up and then i do uh mauricio's like kind of dynamic lower body warm, warm up, up like Beautiful. a lot of leg swings yes spinning shit yeah, and just yeah. like open up the hips because for me i i literally i can't kick to the head unless i'm warm yeah like really warm oh yeah yeah yeah. you gotta you got otherwise it. like i'm fucking like barely kicking <laughs> the body I, and it's, it's really weird some guys they're not warm at all, but they can kick it to the head. Yeah, they just have that flexibility. Everyone's so different. I, I got to warm up real good before before I do any of that stuff. Cool, man. So uh, we got to get going because it's 10.05 and we got a meeting at 11. Right. Um, we got to take the subway. <laughs> <laughs> not that anyone listening gives a shit, but um, so the bottom line of this was just to talk about, you know, how to incorporate strength training and, and you know, like the fact that Andy – has gone and got a coach that's perfect and we're not talking about crossfit either because crossfit is not strength training crossfit is a whole different it's a sport so i'm not telling you guys oh oh andy's doing all these snatches and overhead okay i'm just gonna go to crossfit and that'll be my strength training no 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 no, no. there's a lot of technical stuff that andy goes through he was using the broom before he even mm -hmm. started he learned the lifts and then it's a progression throughout it's not just here's your wad go kill it yeah um 
but it's 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 something that you don't have to do it you know you can do it once a week even like even if you just say okay right now you don't have the time but i got to get in at least once a week and start doing it or twice a week or four times a week would be perfect if you could um depending on how many how much time you have it, it all depends three times whenever you can uh if you can't afford a coach then definitely download uh our strength program it's a 12-week program it's uh funk slash site slash best strength program download that the link is uh the link will be in this podcast somewhere, wherever you're listening to it. Um, it. There will be some type of link. And if there isn't a link, then just go to that site and get that program because it is literally a progressive program. I, I, I did it with Coach. We did it with Coach D. Delroy, um, who's at SST Oakville, which is like a athletic um, a gym. So he trains like D1 football players, uh, Olympian, Olympian soccer players, basketball players, volleyball players, like people who need that power and strength um and and successfully at that lots of even cfl players actually um so he knows his stuff he really does know his stuff and that's why i went to him for that you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i think that if you've been putting it off you need to uh get a chunk of time and commit some time to strength training if you've been putting it off because it separates the athletes from the non-athletes, especially, yeah. and it, it just shows, especially in the training room. Yeah, and plus injuries too. Like the stronger you are, the more you work on your strength, the less injured you're going to be, right? When it comes to performance base. Um, and again, I'm not talking about going into the gym and doing buys and tries and 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 doing a a, a, a workout that you got in the men's health, because those are those are more for hyper those are more for bodybuilding hypertrophy training. That's for size. You're not train. You're not training size. You're training strength. So, and I'm not going to sit here and say, okay, well, you can do the five by five. That's going to be your strength. And yeah, you could go and do five by five and do the three big lifts. But it's more than just the three big lifts because it's not just strength. It's power, explosiveness, all in one. So it's not just going in and doing some deadlifts. Oh yeah, I'm getting stronger. It's not just deadlifts. It's not just squats. There's all the other exercises and the way you put them together that work. That's why when you go, you do the warm up, you do some technical lifts, then you do a metabolic circuit, then you do some core stuff. Like it's all in into one session. And these workouts from that pro from our program, they're not two hours long. They're not you know they'll take you like forty five minutes or so. You know, with your warm up and that, they're they're just focused. Not not a lot of rest in between. When you go with a coach, you're probably going to go a little bit longer. Um, but if you can invest in a coach, which is a little, lot more expensive, absolutely, because then you're going to get that teaching, right? And you're going to have that progression, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have that. But if you can't, and you still want to get that strength, then you know, go for, go with our program. That's our, our program. That's what we built it for fighters. Like we literally built it because we know that fighters want to get stronger but not bigger right you want to stay in your your weight class but you want to manhandle all your opponents in your weight class you want to throw them around you want to be strong you want to be more powerful that's 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 pound for pound strength man that's that's gsp style yeah you gotta you gotta lift weights you gotta lift the weights right the right way, way. the yes. right way um and we're talking specifically strength yeah i mean you incorporate Power. strength exercises in circuits but yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the, that's a that's a circuit. Yeah. Now we're talking about just strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, this is outside. Different of my, protocol. Totally. Yeah, my metabolic protocol is not. It'll get you stronger, but not stronger like we're talking. You, you know, we're talking like amplified, like under a magnifying glass yeah. type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, guys. Put put the work in. Put the work in. And and and, and just to finish up, you're not going to do this during a camp. You're not doing this during your fight camp. During your fight camp is totally different. This is on every time you're not I, off there, season. Well, yeah, there's no off season. I'm right. not. Even, th- this is just non fight camp. That's when you do it because mm-hmm. you're always training in the gym. You should always be trying to get better with your skill set. You should always be throwing some type of strength and conditioning in there, and uh, you know, doing a three month strength bout would be perfect. Yeah. So just a quick thing. Yeah. After this three month strength thing, when we go to Thailand from that point until i get back i'm just going to do a lot of focus on do everything but flexibility okay that's okay. my next focus that's after that right, like right. i just want to be able to I w- the goal is kick somebody in the head without a warm-up <laughs> that's good that's, that's good goal. i like that's it. the goal that's a good so. goal all right guys thank you so much for being part thank you for listening as always you guys are the best i love we love putting these down for you we love talking we love giving you guys information i hope you guys got something out of this i hope that this inspires you one person anyone to go and 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 you know 
tackle that strength training, not look into it. You're actually going to do it or you're not going to do it. Not try to do it, but no, it's all about doing. That's what, that's what the Funk MMA nation is all about, the tribe. It's all about doing it, tackling it and doing it, not procrastinating, but okay, this is what I got to do to get it done. This is what I got to do legally, of course, but this is what I got to do to get it done and, and, and I'm going to do it. You know, like that's that's what it is. And I'm going to keep going and I'm going to be uncomfortable and I'm going to work through it. And it's not going to be all, all, uh, you know, pretty and roses. It's going to be tough as shit, sucks. right? It's tough, isn't it? It sucks. I, I hate it. Yeah. You hate it, but, but you love I like it. the results. So yeah, yeah. you just got to go through it. It's got to go feel through so it. driving there. Like it's a, like about 45 minute drive. Yeah. The whole way there, just like, should I fake an injury? Should I fucking, <laughs> do I really need to go to this? Like, it's not too late to turn around all the way to the door, all the way to the warm up. Oh my God, this sucks. And then as soon as we start lifting, it's like, okay, get in the zone. And then afterwards you feel so much better. Yeah. No one can motivate you but yourself. It's that simple. So, you know, no one can, no, I can't get motivated. Like, <laughs> well then you're fucked. Like get off your ass and motivate yourself. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no, I can't get motivated. Listen, if you're listening to this podcast right now, the, I can't get motivated is not in your, should not be in your, in your vocabulary. It's just like, okay, let's go. It's going to suck, but I'm going to get through it. And I'm just going to continually do it. Be consistent and try to get, be 1% better than I was yesterday. Um, that's it folks. We got to go. Um, Andy, any last words? Oh yeah. Sorry. I, yeah. I've probably done like 10 sessions now. I've probably had two where I've felt good about myself. And then the other eight, I've been like leaving like, oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so, <laughs> yeah. so just giving you guys a ratio for yeah. when you do start strength training. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but you need to do it. It's you awesome. fail a lot. You fail a lot. Funkmma.com slash site slash best strength program. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Download the apps and uh, we've got some good stuff coming for you soon. So uh, as I always say, 1% better, be positive, be good. Train hard, fight easy, and get it done. We're out. Peace. You've been listening to the Funk MMA Strength and Conditioning Podcast, hosted by Funk Roberts, certified MMA conditioning coach, master of metabolic training, and fitness expert, bringing you insights on conditioning for all levels of fighters worldwide. Be sure to join us for another podcast.